mujeres y hombres de los Estados Unidos, queremos recordarles que hace más de 40 años el presidente Richard Nixon anunció la guerra contra las drogas. Entonces, a la fecha, el consumo de sustancias prohibidas ha aumentado en lugar de disminuir. This is one area where we cannot have budget cuts because we must wage what I have called total war against public enemy number one in the United States, the problem of dangerous drugs. I would say that the last 40 years of the war on drugs has been a trillion dollar disaster. It's just done horrific damage in the United States and around the world. Look at Mexico today. Mexican President Felipe Calderón's war on powerful drug trafficking organizations has gone on for more than four years, and it has come at a high cost. More than 34,000 people have already been killed, a growing number of them innocent civilians. It's more than just the drug war. Uh, Chuck, this is a fight over the rule of law. Who will control Mexico's space? Uh, the Mexican security forces or criminal organizations. It's like Chicago during the days of Al Capone times 50, and at the same time, we're not seeing any creative approaches to dealing with the real problems of drug addiction and drug misuse in our society. Of Mexican anti-violence protesters, led by Javier Sicilia, a poet who began speaking out after his 24-year-old son was brutally murdered by drug traffickers. Soy Javier Sicilia, soy poeta. Y voy a marchar porque en primer lugar mataron a mi hijo de una forma cruenta y porque no quiero que otro hijo de otra familia vuelva a ser víctima de una guerra que no nos está conduciendo más que al dolor, al desgarramiento de la vida, al desgarramiento del tejido social. Cecilia says his son is one of the many thousands of innocents who've died since President Felipe Calderón gave the military wide-sweeping powers to fight Mexico's drug cartels. The drug gangs responded by random killings of innocent civilians in an attempt to blackmail the government into stopping the war. Significaría darles el paso franco y licencia para matar. Esta guerra, convocada por los Estados Unidos y asumida por muchos gobiernos de la región, ha puesto en peligro la seguridad nacional de todos los países involucrados. Hemos decidido venir a los Estados Unidos para conversar con sus ciudadanos, para compartir nuestro dolor. Muchos en México hemos dicho basta y hemos comenzado a caminar juntos. Ustedes como nosotros saben que esta guerra es inútil, que esta guerra es absurda, que estuvo perdida desde el inicio.